Good luck. Velvet? Is everything okay? Don't worry. I'm alright. I was just thinking of something that Salika liked to do whenever we passed a gravestone. What was it? I have a secret to tell you, she'd say. Then she'd hand me a flower and add, take it to the grave. What does that even mean? That's just a bad pun. Exactly. Salika loved her puns. Nico's dogs are so cowardly that when a stranger comes by, they don't bark. They hide up on the woof. <laughs> hey! That's pretty good! Ugh, I feel like someone just broke my funny bone. I always told her to stop with all the bad jokes. I thought they were so lame. But now that she's gone, I miss them. Every day with Celica was bright, filled with joy. I realize that now. She'd be happy to hear that. You know, it sounds like Celica and Mogilu had a lot in common. Hmm... If you're trying to say I'm an unrepun-itent punster, I'd have to object. But if you're trying to say that I'm witty, charming, and the party mood maker, I'll take it. Hey, Velvet, you can think of me as your new sister. I won't stop you. I'll even let you call me Big Sis. I'm this close to suing you for defamation of character. I knew I'd see you in court one day. Judge, objection! This is a witch hunt! <laughs> you're incorrigible. Anyway... We don't have time to get all misty-eyed. Let's go. Both the opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And it's where Lord Artorius sacrificed Velvet's brother. Hmm. The former leader of the exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Enominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples built during the Era of Darkness. That's some good camouflage. I doubt Artorius realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Enominat's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey, can we seal Enominat back in here? No, we can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse point. Oh well. If a cat's already out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with the Nomi Not my way.
again, Doctor. Good day. May I order a bouquet? I need it this weekend. A bouquet? Is it already that time again? You're heading to a ball again this year? That's right. A ball? Mm, same as always. Nico's favorites. No, I'd like to order lilacs this year. Lilacs? I thought I'd tell her the news when I visited this year. So, you finally decided to marry? I have. I could never forget Nico. Not a day goes by where I don't think. If only I'd made up my mind sooner with her, then asked her to move here. She wouldn't have been there on that tragic night. And yet, I have to move on. I think that's the right decision. We can't give up on our lives over those who have left us. We have to live! I'll make the biggest lilac bouquet you've ever seen. I'm sure Nico will be happy for you. And congratulations. Thank you. Why a lilac bouquet? Lilacs have a special meaning. A treasured memory. I see. I hope his message reaches her. Yes, I believe it will. Finally done cleaning up the house. This house has plenty of room. We could add more to our family and still be fine. <laughs> but that means I'd have to work that much harder, too. It won't be so bad. As long as we work together as a family, it'll be okay. Yeah, and Zavid will help out, too. Yeah, that's right. We always help each other in times of need, just like the way Zavid does. <laughs> Aren't you the bossy one? But I hear you. We'll do it Zavid's way. Yeah! <sighs> I hope Zavid comes over to play soon. Zavid. We should ask them how they know him. Yes, we should. I'll handle it. I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. I'm terribly sorry to intrude, but I was hoping you would tell me how you all know Zavid. Oh, do you know Zavid too? Yes, we have a history. I was passing by when I just happened to hear his name, and I thought I'd ask. Oh, sure. Well, we feel like we owe him a great deal. I guess it all started when he kidnapped us. K kidnapped you? Let me explain. My wife and I, we were both chefs, and one day, Zavid showed up out of the blue and practically hauled us back to his home. There, waiting for us, were Theodora and these children. Theodora? Yeah, Theodora. You know, his girlfriend? His girlfriend. These children had lost their parents, and Zavid and Theodora took them in. Then, Zavid rushed us back outside. We were so startled by how sudden it all was, we had no idea what he was going to try to make us do. But then he asked us if we could cook the children a meal that humans would find delicious. He said that Malakim enjoy eating the same kind of food as humans do, but they lack the skills or know-how to cook it. At this point, how could we not help? We made them the biggest and best meal we could. It was huge and delicious. The mambo curry nearly melted my face off. The pasta margarita was the best. Well, I loved the peach pie. But yeah. After that, we ended up stopping by the house a lot and started teaching Theodora some recipes. We... lost a child to a demon. Ever since, we'd forgotten we could ever laugh. But Savid, Theodora, and the children, they gave us a newfound joy in life. From a kidnapper to a savior, then? Exactly. Until they came along, we'd never even realized that Malakim have hearts just like people do. It's because they do that they fight alongside you exorcists against the demons. I see that now. Right. What was Theodora like? I love her! When I was too scared to sleep, she held my hand and let me sleep in her bed. She reminded me of my mom. But Zavid was always so mean to me. One time, he even hit me upside the head. You two were always roughhousing, being dumb and breaking stuff and getting hurt. Hey, you want to fight? Come on, you two. Calm down. It sounds like these kids were well-loved. Yeah. Ah, but one day, without any warning, 
Theodora left the house and went missing. And Zavid went off in search for his love, leaving you two to care for the children. He asked us to keep the kids safe until he and Theodora returned home. We just recently moved here, where there's a port. Because our old town was too remote. Alright, I think I get it now. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Zavid can be a bit rough and tumble, but he's a good man at heart. If he's in trouble, I hope you'll help him out. If not for him, then for the children. All right. Theodora. She must be that white-horned dragon, right? She must be. I don't see any other reason for Zavid to risk his life protecting a dragon. To be living with human children who have gone through such trauma. The risk of exposure to malevolence would have been high. And yet she was willing to help them. To take them in. It's no wonder Zavid wants to save her. But there's no way to turn her back into a Moloch, right? That's correct. Which is why you feel you have to kill it. I don't disagree with your conclusion. But... But I think you're going about it the wrong way. How so? No one would stand by and permit his former love to be killed before his very eyes. Even when said love has been irrevocably changed. If you could empathize with him and talk things out, I think you two can come to terms without having to fight. For some things, Eleanor, emotion runs too deep for reason to be heard. If he was so easily swayed that words could convince him, he would already have killed that dragon. But still... I'm not in the mood to argue. Let's just go. Uh, if only I could learn how to control those flames. I know you guys. I heard you put a real dent in the Exorcist's strength. I take it you're a Bloodwing? Got any new information for us? With all the turmoil, there's a lot of noise out there. But I've heard one rumor that stands out. So there was this skilled exorcist Praetor at the top of his game, yeah? Apparently, he got taken down by a Pinyon. Oh? And how'd this Pinyon supposedly pull that off? I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious! The Praetor said the Pinyon attacked with arts of earth, water, fire, and wind. The four elements. That's not all. From what I hear, this Pinyon sports red eyes and a golden coat. They call it... Goldapin. Alright, so where is this Goldapin? The attack happened in the Fegal ice caps. But I gotta warn you guys, Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Whatever you do, you'd better steer clear. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this out. So it's a penguin with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapen, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who's mastered all four elements. Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is, if she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Either way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to Jude in Isult. Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too.
Look! Red eyes, golden coat, it's Goldapen, all right. And she's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pangyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey! It's Jude! No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? Wait. This Pangyon isn't Mila. Are you all right? When I got your message, I ran all the way here without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. When will you people learn to leave this Pangyon alone? Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pangyons, you'll have to fight me first! Who the hell are you? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pangyons! Make the trio! Give us them! Elements of Kree, you can No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Caught under the flesh! Elements of Kree, you can Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out Strong. You know your way around a sword. As do you. I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's right there. Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila. You can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. You fought them? So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengeon abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you, and they're not Pengeon abusers. 
Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. I'm glad you found your friend. However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Yeah. Oh, do you want to come along too? You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Something about him just feels familiar. <laughs> I suppose so. They're gone. Is it really okay to let them leave? What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. Agreed. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah, but couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. We should leave them be. Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would not! 